Welcome! In this video, in Power BI, I will take a line diagram and using a feature called small multiples, I will change it to contain many, many line diagrams before filtering the diagram to make it more readable. The data set used is an open data set which contains information on births and deaths for the period from 2012 to 2020 for the 32 council areas in Scotland. I'll begin by selecting a line diagram and making the diagram quite large on the page. On the right hand side of the page you can see I have four different tables. For my x-axis, I would like to put the year. So from dates, I am going to select the year and drag it onto the x-axis. On the y-axis, I would like to show the births. So from births, births, I'm dragging births into my y-axis. And I also want to compare it against the deaths. From Deaths, deaths, I'm going to drag the deaths onto the y-axis. And now you can compare the trend of the births to the trend of the deaths. I would like to now break this diagram down to show the trend per council. And that's very easy to do. If you look in the visualisation pane, there is this item called small multiples. To use that, all I need to do is go to council and I will click and drag Council into the Small Multiples field. And our diagram updates. If you scrolled down, you would see that there is now a diagram for each of the 32 councils. I would like to see all the council trends in one go. So to do that, all I need to do is change the format of the visualisation. So in the visualisation section, under Format Your Visual, I go down to the area that says small multiples grid and at the time of recording this the maximum columns you could have was six so I'll put six into the columns. I know that I have 32 councils so to show them all in one diagram I need to make the rows X as well. You will see that there is a warning appeared next to the small multiple grid and it's up to you if you would like to play about with the diagram to alter the padding. In my case, as there are some councils with high births and deaths, those with lower births and death figures, the deaths and births lines appear to be on top of each other, so you can't see a clear trend. To make the visualisation clearer, let's just look at the nine councils with the least births. In the filter section, click on Council and change basic filtering to top N. We want to look at the bottom nine, so change top to bottom, put in the nine, and we will look at the bottom nine by value of births. So I go to births, births, and drag that into the values field. Click apply filter, and the diagram updates. We go back to our layout and as we now have nine mini diagrams, let's just change it to three rows by three columns. And there you go. It's a lot easier now to see the trend for each of these nine councils. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.